Okay, now on one hand, Bishop Bedepo gets to tell us that he has never, you know, messed around with church money. He has never ever touched church money, okay? Like, he, he's separate from the church money or whatever comes into the church or something. So you're going to be listening to him say that. This is not more of like, I'm not doing any anal analysis here. I'm just presenting to you videos I've seen here on social media before you start, <laughs> is before you start typing Woto Woto in the comments, okay? And on the other hand, you're going to be looking at Kingsley himself, um, very much known for his relationship, um, you know, videos which are very helpful and have been helpful to me, I would say. Talk about um, the whole concept of uh, calling out or would I say, you know, speaking about people that are quote and unquote generals or would I say fathers of faith when they make mistakes or when they go in error. I want you to listen to both of them and I'll be back with a couple of comments. <laughs> It works like fire. I'm speaking to you today as a father. I've never taken advantage of any one soul in this church in 41 years. I've only been a blessing to those who are challenged. Never, never call on a phone any day to any man or woman. From the days of 8 to 10. I already got into the covenant before the church before the church started. So I didn't need the church to swim in abundance. But hear me. He called me master and lord. Jesus said, for so I am. If you won't take the instruction of the master, you won't pass his exam. You won't. John 13, 13. If you won't take the instruction of the master, you can't pass his exam. He say, you call me master and lord. And you say, well, but that's what I am. And it's the living world. If you don't subscribe to the authority of the living world, uh, life is going off. Let's wake up. I've never mixed a dime of this church money to mine in 41 years. I'm blessed. Yes, sir. Blessed. Even when you wrote in my name a check, I still find that what did you write in your letter? To be sure I don't mistake what you are sending to my account as mine. And someone sent me a million naira in my name, and I've said that several times. I said, can I see the letter? And he said, it's for the work of the ministry. I'm not the work of the ministry. I'm a worker in the ministry. <laughs> My accountant who was arguing with me is no longer here. Mm. It's no longer here. He says, it's for the work of... So I endorsed the check, check back to the church. One million. In the days of when one million was very serious. <laughs> I mean, to me. about games being blah, 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 blah. I've never altered any figure in my life for anything to happen this grace available to everybody I've never given a bribe on behalf of this church and then my behalf what do I give a bribe for you say you are you know my thing carry it go whatever you see is your problem <laughs> my god you can you can choose to take a stand for God and stand on top of your wall. Praise God. Every authority in Nigeria knows that don't come near me if it's bright. Don't, don't move near. You fry. On that word, guys, if I shout on you, your shoe will fall off. <laughs> I shouted on the man, Kaduna, a secret fair. You know, I have this shoe falling voice. <laughs> May you not hear it. <laughs> Somebody sat down and shoe fell off. Have you ever had that kind of? <laughs> they carry your dirty thing and go, my friend. You think I'm faking it here? Thank you, Jesus. When 
when you have discharged spiritual responsibility you are connected to spiritual possibilities you don't beg for possibilities if you are not lacking in responsibility that is why it appears like some people are faster than others in spirit on in the, on this spiritual journey no 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 they studied the scripture to know their role so they played their role and god is playing his role i have not asked god for money for maybe 30 years lord i need money <laughs> Is great. <laughs> that is, I need money. You can ask my wife. We have been married for 28 years. Wherever we join a hand together and say, Father, we need money. It's not a prayer point. I do what brings the money. I do with God what he expects me to do. I discharge my responsibility. And he ushers me into possibilities very very simple you are seated in a church where you are not under any trace of pressure financially there are places where you will be afraid of coming to church on Sunday because you don't know the next offering if you don't bring don't come you are fully relaxed and at home whether you gave offering nobody is aware we, if you didn't give nobody is aware even that many times the pastor forgot to take offering then the church members will be reminding him I'm sure you are aware of that it's a new day for you and somebody said but pastor what if I have issue with somebody in church there's a biblical way still to deal with it most times as Christians we don't know how we, we go and join people and do social media posts or somebody who posts something about the pastor you as a Christian you go and start writing how does that edify? How does that build? How does that even show love? Sometimes we Christians are the worst. We shoot our wounded soldiers. It's only in the kingdom that we shoot our wounded soldiers. Very horrible behavior. And we are throwing away our generals. Because they make one mistake. We throw him we want to start a new person. No. That new person too will still make mistakes. The experienced person <laughs> is more valuable. He has seen the the, 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 the impact of his mistakes <laughs> very 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 powerful I remember the story of one um, executive that worked in a company he made one mistake that cost the company millions of dollars and when he came to meet the CEO he said I know you are going to fire me this mistake is too costly it cost the company so much money I know you are going to fire me the CEO said I'm not going to fire you he said I've spent so and so millions that's the amount they lost I've spent that million educating you if I fire you now, somebody will reap the benefit of the sense you have learned with my money. He said, no, you, are, you will stay here and, and work that experience out. Because you will most likely not repeat that mistake again. You see how people think in the corporate world. But here, in, in the body of Christ, any small thing, we're the ones that want to shoot people. We're the ones that want to cancel people. It's called cancel culture. We want to cancel people. Most people that have done something bad have done a lot of things good. If they are born again Christians, they're your brother and sister in the Lord. You can't throw them away. And these same people that cancel others, they don't cancel their own family like that. You say, my pastor did something bad. It's not my pastor. But your father has done worse, but he's still your father. You still greet him and send him money every day, every month. <laughs> you, are, you are a world-class hypocrite. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? Welcome back once again. Now, for a fact, many people have seen George, okay? And I'm, this is not a defense for me. I, I'm not, I cannot, why would I be defending myself? What I do here is a luta continua. I see something on social media, I see a video on social media, I'll bring it here and discuss it. Whether you like, if you like, I don't care. But looking at this right now, with the way Kingsley was talking about the whole concept of, you know, you shouldn't. I have. Have I, have I ever come here and tell you stop going to your church or because maybe your pastor was involved in one scandal or maybe your pastor has? I, I, 
see, number one is that if I'm not even labeling your pastor as a fake charlatan or this and that, the idea is that I present them to you, present what I'm seeing. So Later, we are going to be looking at videos right here, and I'm going to be asking you questions about why do when your pastor brings clay pots to church or and tell you to bring coconut, this and this to church, to come and be breaking, is that something Christian? These are things that have already happened, and I'm asking you questions. So, of course, if you know me right here on the platform, there's someone that has been synonymous to my name because I have analyzed issues that have come out about him. But people still follow him. I will not come and tell you not to follow who you want to follow. That, that. But you see that thing I see on social media here? I will discuss it and analyze it, share my opinion about it. Like hey,